Aloha guys, so this is our Islander 36. This is the yacht, or yachty as they say in the Philippines. This is my sweetie pie little baby, Aviella. And this is the boat in the Philippines. And this video is really about this boat because this boat is uh, really gonna be a, uh, a landing craft for the bigger boat when we get it to the Philippines. You see with a keel, with the draft going down far into the water makes it stable, but it cannot get up to the beaches. These are some of the churches and home churches that we are involved with there on the island of Biliran, a beautiful island. And we just absolutely love Angpangi Beach and the, the people there. Um, so God has impressed me to contact several individuals. During COVID, it's been really hard dealing with managing and keeping these assets, these things. These aren't really my assets these are and you can see i'm overly excited there because i worked on this boat building it for years and this was the first time in the water testing it out with only one hull i have two out out ponds outriggers they call it katik so this video again about this boat i want to make it clear we have a big boat on the way to the philippines and then this is the multi-cab that runs well but when i'm gone nobody's driving it and it really needs to be driven and maintained so here's our house we paid cash for this god provided the money and uh, we own it and so this is inside giving away clothes and then taking the kids to the swimming pool um, after hard day's work back at the house here and we give away bibles there and inside the boat you can see it's nice inside it's it's actually fiberglass and styrofoam foam so you can cut it in half and it's, the same. it's a very stable very nice Boat. And I just, I, I pray that whoever watches this video would be touched to know that there was a lot of love, sweat, and tears, and, you know, and, and I wouldn't say agony, but effort, hard effort in building this boat, and with a purpose to share the gospel, to spread God's love with the people of this area. This is not a service boat to make money. It's not a fishing boat, although, you know, maybe those are things that it could be used for. It is primarily a boat to get pastors to different islands and it will be used as a landing craft i want to make sure this big boat isn't replacing this boat they will be working together hand in hand this boat will be pulled either behind or go along with it probably pulled behind and we have our air you know air filled zodiac hard bottom that we will be bringing with us also with a, a six horse mercury outboard this is when i had it put up on end we epoxied the the bottom added another layer it's a very unique, unusual design. It is a speedboat and sailboat. Yes, that's right. It has a mast, a sail that is wood that goes up. And uh, it's funny when I have it moved around, they, they like to do it with about 30 people, but it can be done easily on wheels and doesn't take that many people. I move it with the multi-cab. I just hook up and drag it in low gear, four-wheel drive. So salad I make out of raw corn, carrots, pineapple, downtown and the little town of Naval there on the island uh, my sweet wife and us picking up some supplies this is what it looks like there back at the house we have nice bedrooms I've painted since then these uh, kitchen cabinets are not that color now and organizing now this is her just um, I, I brought several dresses and she was trying on dresses and mom and dad were just laughing i said she's in her work clothes and it's not obviously work clothes it's a beautiful dress and she's smiling and pretending like she's a model there um this is a nice house it's secure there's bars on the windows it has it's a fence and everything and it's a courtyard and there she is my wife and she's a beautiful person and we have a good relationship this is the multi-cab driving it's in good condition but needs to be driven so god has again impressed me to read